Hello everyone, it's Emily again. So for this week's seven, I have chosen Proverbs 3 through 4. Never let loyalty and kindness leave you. Tie them around your neck as a reminder. Write them deep within your heart. Then you will find favor with both God and people, and you will earn a good reputation. For this proverb, you almost feel the necessity that you need to have loyalty and kindness. This was written around the time King Solomon was in reign, and King Solomon does a very unique job of making these uh, instructions short, and they're mostly centered around wisdom. I, if you go along with the rest of the Bible, you see that er every every book is almost kind of written in a deep, explained sense of, hey, this is what God told us to do. Here's how we got here. Here's how this all went down. And, and just the instructions that are given in other, t other parts of the Bible, it's just interesting to see that King Solomon kept it short. He kept it, he maintained the integrity of what God was trying to do and to instruct us to find wisdom within him. And one thing that, um, one way that I would rephrase this proverb or put my, what I believe it to be saying is that, you never let loyalty and kindness leave you. That these are things that God had given instructions to Solomon to do. He, you know, he's like, don't ever leave your kindness. Don't ever leave your loyalty. But never let them go. Because if you're not kind to one another, then you are not a part of me. As I imagine what God would say. Because um, later on in John, he says, the greatest thing you could do is ever love. So I believe that kindness and love and the loyalty to God can help produce wisdom, it can help produce love, and it can help produce the, the fruits of the Spirit that are in Galatians as well. And one story that I would tell is that most of my life I have always been earning for kindness, earning for loyalty because of certain situations that I've been in. And I feel like loyalty um, was only given because of someone's what someone invested in you, what someone bought you, what someone talked to you about. But loyalty is just remaining faithful to the Lord and knowing that later on in life that you will see a, a provision and a fruitfulness from that. And just that, you know, keeping kindness. I always wanted to be kind to one another, although I had my moments where I wasn't kind, but I still earned for that kindness because, you know, people didn't have to be kind to me. And if they were, I felt like I wasn't owed that. I felt like I wasn't deserving of kindness, but it's amazing that God instructs us in the Bible all the time. Be kind, be loving, be fruitful, and be um, just be so welcoming of each other because you are my people. And you know, when we get to heaven, it'll all be just all of us sitting around worshiping the Lord. So why not do it here on earth? Why not worship everyone? Why not worship the Lord? Why not worship everything that he has to give us and what he has given us? So today I inspire you to keep that loyalty and kindness in your heart so that when you seek the wisdom of the Lord, it will not be lost and it will be a developing of your character that you never knew you needed. And so I just hope that this proverb inspired you to want to dive deeper into what God has to say about maintaining these things to obtain wisdom. And the proverbs are so profound. And the way that they are short, but they are a monument of what we need to do here on earth to maintain our um, our love for the Lord. And thank you, and I hope you have a great rest of your week. All right, bye.